They are going after her. That being the newly debuted member of V Shoujo, Henya, self-described as a genius and sounding very familiar. Debuting this past weekend and showing off her full model here as concepted by Squeaky, illustrated by Garanko, and modeled by Setra of Iron Vertex. This new member of V Shoujo is almost the smallest, clocking in at 140 centimeters tall, the same height as Nazuna. Yes, she is small. But immediately after debut, there would be complaints about Henya, with one of them going viral, receiving over one and a half million views and over 70,000 likes. The tweet noticing the design of this VTuber and saying, was the boob window really necessary for the model of a literal child? That tweet receiving replies like, didn't we go through this with Gura? It's probably similar to male outfits that show chests a tiny bit. Same case here, but with a female, I don't think its intention is to be sexual. The person knows well that her audience is full of male creeps and losers. Many of the replies going over the age of consent, also comparing her her design to other anime characters. Further comments like, wish we gatekept anime and VTubers harder, along with, why do you see a child in a live 2D model, sir? The popularity of this particular tweet also being questioned, with this reply saying, these likes are botted. Thought we were doing something about this kind of thing. Again, yet another example of one tweet getting way, way outside of the intended target audience. However, regarding those booba, many are asking, Booba Doko. This being something on Henya's mind, being the second tweet she ever made, as after that viral tweet, we would also have this tweet from Henya. Yochi of Yugen saying Henya being cute, and receiving back from Henya, Yochi cute too. Further, Henya would say, I'm so happy to be here and sharing this moment with you guys. Thank you for always being here with me. So many are thinking that they have heard this VTuber before in a past life as another VTuber character, and are now asking why did she join V Shoujo? The answer to that possibly lying in her goals from her debut, mentioning not only wanting to have a 3D model, but also perform a 3D live, along with having an original song, which many believe that in her past life were goals of hers that were simply not becoming true after waiting and waiting and waiting. And we have reactions from other VTubers like Fruit in V Shoujo, screen capping and saying me when the when you when you could do when I had to, also taking to stream and illustrating illustrating this Henya-chan while also giving her a little bit of an upgrade. Henya replying, aw, this is so cute. Thank you so much, Fruit. Iron Mouse reacting with welcome home, Henya. We love you. v Jojo family growing and can't wait for you guys to see what else we have cooking. Further, v Jojo's case on would remark, feet confirmed. That's right, the debut did have the grippers along with the Crocs. Now potentially being modeled in 3D at this very moment. Other VTubers like Uzu saying, new life goal, be as cute as Henya. Vienna here with reading quantum physics every day. Camila here with she. Vivi saying, I will love and protect you forever, purple genius. A potentially very close friend of Henya's. Your Rikido of Prison Project saying, I love Henya. As we also have General Giga enjoying the Henya-ness. And V Shoujo's Haruka Caribou giving Henya a welcome home and saying she is so adorable. We also by far had one of the best debut moments of the year. As upon trying to pull up her merchandise page, she was greeted by a 404. That page thankfully opening up immediately afterwards, including a desk mat, acrylic standee, keychain, t-shirt, stickers, along with a replicated message in a bundle set. And that's not all. Ironside clearly teasing a Henya PC case here. This new V Shoujo town, of course, received loads of fan artwork, including even animated pieces. As for the debut, it was fully packed with transitions, alongside animated backgrounds with potential Easter eggs, animated loading screens, Screens, along with emotes that were also animated. As even before debut, Henya already had the partner check mark on her channel. Hello, thank you for coming. <laughs>
Unfortunately, the VOD was not made available on Twitch for the debut, but it was immediately posted up on YouTube within the first hour, as others would take note of Henya's dress. Noticing the Morse code lining on the bottom, potentially reading out, if you can read this, you are a nerd. And in addition, there is a formula on the dress representing electromagnetism. After the debut, Henya would take to Twitter to say, Twitter, 600,000 followers, thank you so much. She actually meant 60,000. Then going on to lean into that further, thanking Twitter for an absolutely insane amount of followers and giving us a very telltale arigato. Also returning this weekend with a Q&A stream was Sayu Synchronicity, formerly a member of Nijisanji English. She would go on to respond to this question. Did Zion ever receive her play button? Ah! Uh, they... I don't believe anyone there gets to keep um, or receive play buttons because it is the company's. <clears throat> hint, hint. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, it's just... No, hypothetically, right? Hypothetically, right, guys? Hypothetically, um, the comp it belongs to the company, so... Um, they possibly do not, you know, just hypothetically, right, guys? Hypothetically. That revelation then making others look back as here we have Nijisanji English's Selen Tatsuki taking to Twitter to thank everyone for not only 100,000 Twitter followers, but saying good timing too, because I just got my 100,000 subscribers button from YouTube. This particular photograph placing the play button on a white table and that photograph looking very similar to Petra Gurren's. Also of Nijisanji English saying silver play button, it feels so surreal. Others then going on to notice that numerous other Nijisanji talents have very similar photographs of their silver play buttons, either on a white table or very zoomed in. But it was actually weeks ago when Nijisanji talent Morinaka Kazaki would reveal that not only is Nijisanji keeping all of the play buttons at their office, but when she inquired about hers, she was told that they had lost hers. This being further backed up by none other than Tsukino Mito, the original Nijisanji Sanji VTuber, weeks later confirming that Niji Sanji is keeping all of the play buttons in their office. Months ago, Mr. Rias of Niji Sanji English would even make this comment. My silver award for getting 100k subs is here! Pretty good for someone who just died out like me. That is really good. Wait, you got your 100k f***ing plaque already? I have a million f***ing subscribers and I still haven't been sent that dog sh plaque, bro. It's still in the mail. Are you f***ing kidding me? You've been streaming for, what, 15... 14 days and you've got it already so now at this time many on the lookout to see if niji sanji talents are at all receiving any play buttons as it is possible to order more play buttons niji sanji has the ability to just simply order another play button for the talent and keep their own at the office if they so choose this also surprising a number of vtuber watchers as they are very used to seeing their agency vtubers and indie vtubers alike not only sharing the play buttons but even making content out of it not just showing the play buttons displayed in their own home but also finding other creative uses for the play buttons and next with niji sanji english we have pomo rainpuff around the time of henya's debut saying happy day and then reacting she's so precious and genius further reacting it's nice to meet you henya i love your debut henya replying thank you very much pomo henya also taking some time to reply to niji sanji english's millie parfait all while pomo and iron mouse would conjure up a collab involving Henya. And this as earlier, Pomo would say, YouTube hates my hands so much. Every time I do a hand cam stream, it believes I am a child and turns off comments. And today is a very special day for this fairy VTuber, now celebrating her two-year anniversary with Niji Sanji. That as her and the other members of Lazulite are preparing for the release of their second original song, Light Me Up, Pomo would take to stream to talk about the challenges of getting this song approved. Um, the song, actually, so, um, when we were in Japan, La Lazulite, I mean, in November, together, we had a meeting with staff son, and I'm not gonna lie, we kind of really fought for this song, <laughs> and, you know, um, we kind of were just like, we, we, want another song too and uh <clears throat> and they were 
they were like, we will, they were, they weren't like, oh, we won't do it. They were like, we'll see what we can do to make it happen, basically. And so, um, when we got back, I remember messaging staff like every couple of weeks. I was just like, hi, oh, we talked about this. I want it to happen. So, please. So, I would just keep messaging them and messaging them and messaging them. And then eventually, they came back and were just like, Okay! We got the approval! Let's... let's do it! Yeah, and so... <laughs> I was very annoying, probably, to stop. And now further with Niji Sanji, we are looking at Zia Cornelia. Having now graduated this past weekend, quickly bringing back her lore Twitter account and then closing it later after inviting dozens of VTubers from around the world to her 10-hour graduation stream, she would have this to say. I really love you guys. You guys are very talented, very creative, and I really look up to you both. You guys are my endless source of inspiration too, so thank you so much for existing and f for becoming the people you are all this time. I regret nothing. Fellow wavemate Hanamakia going on to say further, I really do sincerely love her. I hope she continues to be more kind to everyone and more importantly herself because she's an amazingly strong and hardworking person who deserves all the flowers. Please remember to always cherish your loved ones. This Nichi Sanji talent then going on to release her final cover song. All while her fans would grace her with a brand new website, it's zeacornelia.com, filled with messages and memories of her. And now back with V Shoujo, we have Zentreya welcoming Hen saying she's so adorable. Time to grab another person for collabs and random calls. And also this past weekend, you may remember that she was taking part in a Fall Guys Twitch Rivals tournament, her team coming in fourth, but not after a little bit of trolling. That trolling being aimed at XQC, also taking part in this Twitch Rivals tournament, as Zen would start one of the rounds by grabbing XQC in the game. Yo, can we just report that? Can we, can we, I actually don't. Like it. Yeah. I mean, I got help by this person. Who is that person now? This is wrecking havoc. Oh, I grabbed XQC for a moment. <laughs> this is why I love you. I just... I couldn't let that opportunity pass me. Unsurprisingly, XQC followers then raiding into Zen stream and leaving some very flashy comments in chat. Tears. I actually think it's hilarious, so it was worth it to me. Guys, relax. XQC's fine. Why are we spreading hate for? We're better than that. Come on, we do a little bit of trolling. We don't do actual hate stuff. And then further here, Zentreya yesterday, saying this on Mother's Day in the United States, my life just got turned upside down. Saying next on Twitter, things are a mess for me at the moment, but regardless, I'll still give out love. Happy Mother's Day to the moms out there. Keep rocking. This morning stating yesterday wasn't a dream. I drank a lot yesterday, hoping to wake up to a dream. I have a lot to talk about with you all today. Zentreya then taking to stream and landing an absolute bombshell of her passed on us, as yesterday, Zen would find out that she was adopted, explaining that she was told effectively that her biological parents did not want her, and this being confirmed yesterday from her adoptive father. Summaries don't do this justice, we just recommend you hear it from Zen herself on her own stream. We'll leave the link to that below. And further regarding V Shoujo, we have this official throne tweet, stating we are proud to announce our latest partnership with V Shoujo. We are thrilled to partner with a company that is both a global leader in their space and truly creative first. Exciting times lie ahead. That while we also have V Shoujo's Project Melody. Now awarding four outfit art contest winners. Stating my outfit design contest has concluded. It's been a month long journey and choosing was nearly impossible. I want to thank my loving creative community for participating. I can't verbalize my gratefulness. Those entries coming from Fish with this last minute officer like Mel. Techie Key giving us a cyber bunny Mel. Comfy here saying it's a little exciting. And lastly Toxy stating I want to do more details but ran out of time only saw the contest a few days ago and following up further we are back with cooking vtuber giri saying of henya she is so cute we love henya oh well now we have this official oni mart announcement stating i am happy to finally reveal that i have joined geeks plus and moved to japan our new chapter begins that news receiving from henya a congrats and welcome to japan that as giri would share lore video is almost at a hundred thousand views already i'm so happy you guys liked it it was 
was my very first animated video project, and I'm just speechless. I will work hard to create more animated videos for you. And also working hard for you is Cody, our co-host, bringing us even more things VTubers say. Co hi yo. We kick off today's Hololive news with letters from management. This is a new feature from CoverCorp that aims to deliver transparency from management to the fans. In the note, Holopro management talk about the work they do with the talents, but also acknowledge that a lack of messaging from behind the scenes has at times concerned the fans, which in turn has given rise to speculation to which they deeply apologize. A-Chan quote retweeted the announcement saying, this is the kind of thing you talk about every now and then, and is good news for fans of behind the scenes production stories. This as A-Chan also revealed that she's very sexy, which was in regards to a post that spawned a lot of fan art, giving us cultured artwork such as this one by Kuma no Bansoko, and this one by Okuni. Next up, we have celebrations, starting with Hololive's vampire Yozura Mel, who celebrated her fifth anniversary with a 3D live. Mel opened up with a dating sim experience, inviting many guests along the way, including Choco, Momosuzu Nene, and Aki Rose. In fact, it was an all-blonde feature, which also included Iraha and Amelia Watson of Hololive English. A-chan captured this shot of Mel, saying, I got her looking at the camera. As Itori went on to tweet, choose your yellow-headed girl. The live ended with a scene of Mel in a ceremonial dress, along with the announcement of new merch, which includes the necklace she was wearing and a new start with Mel cushion. Other celebrations include that of Takina Sora, who is celebrating her birthday with a party on Minecraft alongside Bay, Oli, Ina, Yofi, and Achan. Achan joined the girls with her own block game model, and together they all built a cake for the birthday girl. Achan tweeted, I'm glad we were able to celebrate Sora's birthday with Ian and ID too. I never thought I'd be able to go to the fireworks today. This as Ina commented, it was a fun collab. And Oli congratulated Sora while also adding, we all did such a great John building the cake. But that's Ankimo, not John. Keen Biscuit created a little art piece commemorating the moment, saying happy birthday Sora-chan. As fans in Taiwan have added a birthday banner to a bus passing through high-speed rail Zoying Station, Sora will be ending her birthday celebrations on May 26 with a birthday live stream where she will also be unveiling a new outfit. Also unveiling a new outfit was Holostar's Aruran, wearing a more formal look complete with waistcoat and pocket watch with lack behind the design and Nanami behind the rigging. Aruran also revealed a new opening scene and ending scene for his streams. He went on to tweet, thank you for watching. I've been wanting to show you all this for a long time and now I've been able to show it all off at once. I'm so glad you liked it. In other news, we check out Lali and Shishiro Botan who attended DreamHack alongside Sunomaki Watame. Together, they performed live with Botan tweeting a photo of the stage and Watame saying it was the best live but also tweeting it was her first time at an event like this and she was very nervous. But seeing everyone listening and enjoying themselves gave her the courage to perform with pride. Botan also tweeted about her experience, saying she was happy to hear everyone cheering even though she was nervous, and that it was her request that the first song they sing was Watame's original song, I My Chocolate. In other music news, we check out the new music project from Hololive called Blue Journey, as this week they released the music video for the second digital single, You Me, sung by Sakura Miko, Hosho Marine, and Amaru Polka. Marine is also one of the talent in the Hololive Cross Giga collab that is now live, also featuring Picora, Noel, and Flair. Special Taiyaki, shaped in each of the talent's heads, will be available for purchase, with the designs made by Marine, who went on to tweet a video of them sent by Gigo, and said, my drawing is now food. Other collabs include the Hololive cooking lottery, which gives you a chance to win some holo themed cooking utensils, such as a Marine pancake pan, Choco spoon and fork, Shion coffee pot, a Miko whoopee cushion, no wait, what is that? Plate, and a Subaru dessert glass. The duck girl Uzura Subaru recently held a short announcement stream to discuss two major personal announcements, one of which was a Hololive Sausage Legend 2 tournament, and the other being a reveal of a brand new outfit taking place on May 23rd. Lastly, in today's news, we visit Hoshimachi Suise, who previously said she was taking a break from streaming and then announced her return on Monday the 15th. There is also another account that seems to have popped up over the weekend called Suise Submachi, whose first tweet said, you found this account, and if you don't tell three of your friends that this account exists, you'll smash your little finger on the corner of the wardrobe. So there you are. I'm telling at least three of you. But that's everything from me. Back over to you, false. Thank you so much, Ken. And uh, I guess thanks for this too. Yes, we had a late May Day celebration illustration featuring a very handsome Android VTuber. That once again, thanks to Nico Miura. Thanks again, I guess. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send in your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch.tv and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.